Hey, 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 everyone. It's me, Narada Africa Hair God, and I am back with Curly Chronicles in the South. And this is part two of her service. And part one, we talked about her consultation um, and her concerns with her hair. And we addressed that with a haircut. And you got to see the full um, haircut shaping service in part one. This one, we're just going to focus on the styling. Now, I am still in disbelief that Curly Chronicles is sitting in my chair right now. Because, like, I promise you... When I was watching her back in like, I don't know, 2011, 2012, and she came across my screen, I never imagined that, number one, we would cross paths. Number two, that she would be sitting in my chair in my salon getting her hair done by me. So I'm still in kind of disbelief, and um, this was definitely uh, a highlight uh, service for me this year. Last year, uh, my biggest highlight was when African Export revived from the, the graveyard and like showed her face in one of my live streams when I was doing hair. That might've been last year or the year before, but she popped in one of my live streams with me at the salon doing hair and she was like, oh, look at you now. I remember when you was in beauty school talking about becoming a stylist and owning your own salon. And I'm so happy and proud of you to see how far you had come. And I was like, oh, my God, like, this is crazy. Like, this woman has been missing on YouTube for like 10 years. And she popped up on my screen. So, uh, yes, just just being able to connect with um, the women that have not only just pioneered and really just set in motion the natural hair movement um, is is really a big deal to me. And I know some people would call me an OG as well. And, you know, uh, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. But, <laughs> like, these are the OG OGs. You know what I'm saying? Like, before I even made a thought to set up my camera and do this, like, they was there. And if it wasn't for people like Curly Chronicles, African Export, um, 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 who else? I mean, there's so many names I can't think on the top of my head, but if it weren't for women like them, I probably wouldn't even be a stylist right now. I don't know what I would be doing. Probably working at Walmart or something. I don't know. Not, nothing against Walmart workers or nothing, but I look and look at it. See, just, just stay on top of baby. Just stay on top. All right. So like I said, we covered all the hair cutting and all of that in the first part. So let's just briefly talk about the styling and um, I'm going to let y'all just watch the rest of the video. All right, all right, all right. So we are going to just briefly discuss the styling process here. And there's really not much to it because the styling itself is pretty simple. But she did request for our signature green thumb natural hair um updo well it's not really an updo it's kind of a side swept do situation it's kind of like a half hawk situation so with this style you have braids along the sides and it's like three layers of, of cornrows and they're all kind of going in opposing directions and they're like this um different patterns and I guess that's what makes the style really really attractive like that's been our signature style for the past five years I think Henny did that style on the client and it just like went viral and everybody and their mama tried to recreate it and they just could not do it. But um, <laughs> I digress. So I am starting off, I went ahead and pre-sectioned off the hair. I will go in and adjust that, um, those sections on the side where the braids are, but I just wanted to get started with the two strand twist. So, I started to use Nature's Blessing. As you can see, I'm opening the jar. Um, and I particularly do like Nature's Blessing. And I wanted to use it on Autumn's hair because Nature's Blessing is of a lighter hair grease. And um, Autumn has um, somewhat fine hair. Not extremely fine, but it is in that range of fine texture. And so I did not want to um, heavily coat her hair or weigh it down too, too much. However... Um, Autumn and I discussed the fact that she does have particularly dry scalp and neither one of us really knows why her scalp is, um, dry like that, inherently dry. So, um, I did end up switching to Ultra Sheen, um, just because it's heavier and I know in terms of 
being more nourishing and moisturizing to the scalp, it has more lasting holding power than uh, the nature's blessings will. The nature's blessings will eventually absorb in, and at some point the scalp will get dry again, which is what I don't want. I want her to be able to rock the style as long as possible. Um, so um, Autumn has been drinking her water. We talked about that. Um, so yeah, we, we don't know. It could be something internal going on. It could be the water. Who knows? Who the hell knows? But it's fine. We're going to use the Ultra Sheen and keep it moving. Um, and on top of the water that I applied to her hair, we are using the, I believe I used the Elastic QP Leave-In Conditioner, which is one of my favorites. You can also find it on my Amazon store um, in the description. Um, I particularly like this because even though it's a leave-in conditioner, I, I find that it works great as a styler for like two string twists because I haven't been able to find another substitute for this cream. Um, I like it because the cream itself is kind of a light, medium weight type of uh, cream. So you can apply it to the hair. It absorbs really easily, really well. And it doesn't like overly weigh the hair down as long as you're not heavy with it. And you really shouldn't need a lot of it as well. And I love that the cream itself is, has a very wet base to it. Like it really just smooths onto the hair and it spreads and it absorbs. Um, I tried to use, what is it? The Mayel Organ, I know, I know, look, <laughs> look. I, Henny was trying to get me to use Mayel. Okay, we're not gonna go through, we already went through this shit already. Y'all not gonna, like, y'all not, look. Okay, look. She told me to try it, and I was like, fine, I'm gonna try it, but like, if I don't like it, I don't like it. And so I gave it a go, and I tried the Mayel Twisting souffle from the honey and pomegranate line or something like that and i i think a lot of people either like that one or they like the the coiling custard or something i and for a while i was using the coiling custard for washing goes but i don't like it like i i don't like it it works for some people i noticed so I, I feel like the products are a hit or miss. The Twisted Souffle though, I hate that. I, I hate that product so much. I want the product to be more hydrating. Like it feels more buttery. Like it, it just is very heavy. It's not as wet when you apply it to the hair. Like I just cannot imagine applying that Twisted Souffle on dry hair and expecting the hair to be moisturized. Like. It, it just, it doesn't absorb into the hair. It just sits on top, it coats it. It does a great job of smoothing the hair and it probably does a great job of, of adding some hold. But baby, I need the, the moisture. I need the moisture. This is why y'all hair be dry. Y'all be trying to apply these products to dry hair and I just, I cannot, baby, I cannot. All my clients, I style all their hair with water. Their hair has to be wet when I'm twisting it, when I'm braiding it because I, it just does not feel right to me to install these styles, especially with using hair grease and stuff. And the hair is not properly hydrated beforehand. Um, so yeah, that's what we use and that's what we, we did uh, decide, well, what I decided to use on her hair. And I feel like it worked great. Her twist was bouncing and behaving at the end. It was shiny, it was smooth. Um, the scalp was glistening, the hair was glistening. So we was in there um, and it was just really great to see these two strand twists on those clean, blunt, nice ends from that fresh cut. So it all worked out um, in terms of like the cornrows. For the most part, I just use water and um, hair grease. I apply the grease to the scalp before I braid it in so that the grease works its way down the length of the hair. Um, it lubricates and keeps it moisturized. And I also used a little bit of the Maury's Texture King Gel Pomade, which is kind of like your um, your edge control or gel type of product. Not gel, but like jam type of product just for added hold. Um, she does have fine hair and she, she does have a little bit of thinning around the perimeter which wasn't a problem. It, I just needed a little assistance to kind of direct and slick the hair into the braid. We didn't put any excessive tension. We just directing the hair where it needs to go and weaving it in the braid. It's, it's all about proper tension, everybody. 
God, I am running my mouth. It's been 10 minutes. What is there else to talk about? But uh, that is the style in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I did not get back in the comment section on part one. I've been really busy this weekend, y'all. It's, it's been a lot going on. I've been babysitting and them kids, I'm, I'm glad I ain't got no kids. I just, I, I mean, kids is fun for a little while, but damn, I just had them for four days and I was like, Jesus, I need time to myself. I need a break. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, I will definitely not be having kids anytime in the future. Y'all have fun with that shit. Um, but yes, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know, you know where to leave them. You know, I, I will get to them eventually. Just be patient. And if you are going to ask a question, please make sure you check the description first to make sure that your question isn't already answered there. If you ask me where my salon is located, I'm not going to answer you. If you ask me how to book, I'm not going to reply to you. Um, what else? What else? If you ask me what product I'm using, I'm definitely not going to reply to you because you weren't listening. I spent too much time editing this video. Um, I'm taking time away from going skating and, and doing what I need to do and telling y'all what's going on for you to ignore the video. Skip around. Look, look. If you want to skip around, that's fine. I don't mind people skipping around. But don't be skipping around and then asking questions because you skipped over the intro where I explain how, what products I'm using, this and that. Don't ask me where to get these products. I don't know where you live. I don't know what your situation is. And if you didn't look at my uh, Google store, my uh, not Google, my Amazon store and find a product there, I don't know what to tell you, baby. You got to Google and do your own research. If it's something you can answer by uh, going on Google, I need y'all to do that. Y'all like y'all not gonna keep overworking these content creators like this. See, TikTok got y'all spoiled. Y'all wanna watch these little cute little 60 second clips. Ooh, ah, oh my god, yeah, oh that's great. And then have a million and ten questions. But when a bitch go and edit a a a, a hour and a half long video uh, covering every single question under the sun, crickets. Crickets. Nobody wants to watch. Nobody wants to engage. Except, yeah, except my regulars. I ain't talking about y'all. I'm talking about everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to watch a 60 second clip and have a, a million and ten questions. And I ain't about to sit there and answer a million and ten questions on a, a, a 60 second clip when you could have went to the full length video, had all your questions answered, and all that shit. Why am I ranting right now? This is not supposed to be this type of video. This is supposed to be a relaxing uh, 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 AS. ASMR type of video without the ASMR because y'all ain't feeling the ASMR so y'all like look just call it what it is it's a, a, a video you styling hair with some music on it. so that's what we gonna call it today it's a music video with some damn hair on it enjoy the music enjoy the hair enjoy the styling and enjoy your life okay <laughs> and with that be blessed and I will see y'all on the next one. Oh yeah but um Y'all know, y'all, I'm going to be on, on Thursday with the watch party on Crowdcast. Y'all already know what time it is. I'm going to see y'all ass over there on Crowdcast. But uh, until then, be blessed.